welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time i'm doc holly health and we do a little bit of everything health and fitness here and this is part of my quarantine chronicles i got covid and it's the end of june so i've had to take a week off of work with my clients Let me take these off so I've been kind of enjoying it. I shouldn't say that because I'm just very blessed that I feel good. I have just like cold symptoms, but now it's day five and they're pretty much completely gone. So I've really taken this week to hone in on my goals, have a really long, amazing, abundant, magical morning routines where I get to walk in this park every day, which I've shown you a little bit about. Um, on the b-roll side um, it's beautiful i can see the ocean i live in the most beautiful place in miami i love love it that's always on my gratitude list is i live in miami so i'm from michigan and i just i love it i love michigan summers but i was not a michigan cold winter girl by any means so so happy that i live here and I want to share about my morning routines and how I've been using it to really set direction for where I want to go now, right? It's about to be July. We're halfway through the year and your daily habits make up who you become. So it's the small things that you do every day. If you're intentional about them, you will definitely get your goals. And I've started to work in a lot of meditation lately which I'm going to continue once I go back to work with my clients, even though it's gonna be a lot harder because I start with clients at 6 a.m. So I'm gonna have to get up at like 4.45 so I have 15 minutes to do a meditation. Like that time is so important to clear my mind of anything negative or that's holding me back and refocus on my dreams. It's so important as adults to keep dreaming because that's something that we completely let go of as we get older and older we forget to live in our imaginative state imaginative imaginative state and uh, we live more from like past conditioning or past memories and just we repeat the same patterns and behaviors over and over if we're not aware of them so awareness will totally abolish negative thoughts that are holding you back but it takes a lot of deep inner work I say that because inner work means a lot of things to understand yourself and it's a lot of work you have to do on your own. No one can do it for you. It looks different for everybody, but that's how people become successful is they let go of the whatever's holding them back and they get very clear every single day, every day on where they're going. So this morning I did a manifestation meditation just one I found on YouTube, it's free, anybody can do it. You just gotta get up a little bit earlier. And in my journaling, I also wrote just my dream life, like a little bit of like scripting on like, hey, this is my life. If I were to live my dream life right now, this is what it looked like. And I also feel really lucky because being off of work with my clients, even though I'm so lucky I work for myself, I, you know work with who i want to work with and it's a studio very close to my house but i don't always want to be held back by always trading my time for money so i'm getting clear on where i'm going and how i can serve the world and make impact in a way that's not only one to one but one to many and i'm so passionate about youtube so my goals for july are going to be to record every single day i might not post it all to YouTube because you guys, you know, you don't want to see everything. You want to see the good stuff. I mean, I guess you want to see everything. We're supposed to be vulnerable, real life. This is it. But to also make it where, you know, you're engaged. So YouTube is my goal and I've been living that life this week. I've recorded every single day. I've gotten to work out every single day. I'm so blessed to have a barbell and dumbbells at home. And, you know, some things that I wrote out that I would like to see is I can't wait till Brawley and I, my husband and I are in a house. So I imagine like a white kitchen with an open concept, plenty of room to cook and record in because I love creating and 
you know, the neighborhood that I want to be in, the car that I want to drive, what my daily perfect life would look like. And it just gets you in this like high vibration state. And throughout the day, like you can keep going back to it, keep going back to living in imagination. That's what successful people do. So let's work out shoulders and just let me know in the comments what you think about that thought. If you're new here, please subscribe. It helps my channel a lot, especially growing small channels. Um, so if you can like and subscribe, that would, I would really appreciate it. I love you. See you. It won't go away. I've got that feeling rushing. Let's get it. Make sure you warm up first. I'm just going to go right into the workout for you guys. You can get the meat of the workout. Uh, military press is what I'm prioritizing today. So I'm doing five by five with the 65 pounds. You want to keep your ribs down, solid footing, and press that all the way overhead. Lock it out. Then I always follow up with another kind of pressing movement. So this time I'm doing single arm so I can really isolate one arm at a time. I do five by ten with the dumbbell. My last few reps do get a little bit sketchy, but I think that is okay. I mean, lifting weights is a skill and you're getting at something better every time you do it. So whether that's that mind-body connection, lifting more weight, improving those last couple of reps, maybe adding a rep, changing up the rest intervals. Like you can manipulate so many different variables. I don't think every workout has to be perfect, but as long as you're working on something every single time, and this is a pretty high volume workout, so if those last couple reps are questionable, it happens. Then lateral raises, I do every shoulder day as well. Since I'm at home, this is my hopefully last day having to quarantine and work out at home. I don't have dumbbells that are between 10 and 20, which I normally do like 15 for lateral raise. So I went high rep. I did five sets of 15 with the tens. And this one I was focusing on mind muscle connection like crazy or else the weight would feel so, so light. And especially feeling my delt, my shoulder muscle squeeze at the top and then just slowly descending away from that. Be present in your workouts and seriously think about it. Flex your muscles. Flex your muscles on these front raises keep your posture try not to sway your body back and forth but stay rooted in your feet broad in your collarbones so that you protect your shoulders and yeah some people take these all the way overhead I just have always preferred to just go to shoulder level for some reason but the same thing I'm especially at the top I'm flexing my delts and trying to slowly go down reverse flies are next this one I just stick to three sets of 12, getting posterior delt. There's three delt muscles, right? There's anterior, middle, and posterior. The front fibers, the middle fibers, and the back fibers. So I'm targeting them all this workout. This really gets the back posterior fibers and a little bit of those scapular stability muscles, the muscles in between your shoulder blades, like your rhomboids, for example. Woo, <laughs> and then I finish with some triceps again not my ideal weight so i went higher rep with three sets of 15. i could definitely have a better lockout at the top like sometimes it's good just to videotape your own workouts because you can see what you do wrong often i'll put my opposite hand across my ribs to keep my ribs down a way to cheat is to just hyper extend your back and it's not the best base for a good repetition. So if you want to isolate the tricep, keep your rib down, keep your abs tight, stand in athletic position. Even when you're doing upper body, you want to think about everything that's happening with your whole body, right? What's happening with your core, what's happening with your feet, because you could be compensating in ways that you're not even thinking about. Make sure you are double checking yourself, even as you grow to be an advanced lifter and trying to get better at doing abs at the end of my workout. I have an ab wheel at home. So your girl finished off with three sets of 15. I could probably have gone a little bit lower, but I was scared of my hair extensions getting caught in the ab wheel. I know, problems, mucho problems. So 
if you do the ab wheel, a lot of people hyperextend their back as well on this, which is a huge problem. It's just gonna put pressure on your back when we wanna be working the core. So stay in this kind of rounded plank-like position, hollow body, pull your navel in and crank them out. Thank you so much for watching this workout, this day in my life. I hope you found it beneficial. If you did, subscribe, comment, let's hang out more. Welcome.